everybody. Welcome to Trees' World. So in this book, A History of England in a Hundred Places, it lists places to visit by county. So Derbyshire, it suggests I visit Eam. I've done that, so check out the video. And then it suggests I visit Wingfield Manor. I'm afraid that's closed. It's all under refurbishment. And the third place and last place in Derbyshire it suggests I, fin I, I visit is um, Cromford Mill. And that's where I'm going today. Remember, Trees' as World is not a history channel. I'm literally trying to go to all these 100 places. Turn left onto the A515. So I've managed to get part. So Cromford Mills is part of the Derwent Valley Mills World Heritage Site, right, which occupies 15 mile stretch of the Derwent Valley between Matlock, Bath and Derby. So the map here left will get will will help you get to your bearings for the Cromford Mills and Cromford Village. Gateway within the Cromford Mills complex introduces the significance of the whole of the Derwent Valley so you can discover more about this amazing place. Goodness, um, I'm only here for a couple of hours so I don't think I'm going to be able to do all that. But um, yeah, if you do come then there's plenty here to do. So, Cromford Mills is a world heritage site. So this is where it all began, the beginning of the cotton industry. Let me tell you a little bit about it. The Richard Arkwright and his partners leased a small site in Cromford in 1771, where he constructed the world's first successful water-powered cotton spinning mill to drive the machinery Arkwright's first harnessed the power of the Cromford Soth I think that's how you say it S-O-U-G-H a lead mine drainage channel this source of water offered a constant supply with little seasonal variation Later, in 1785, he employed the Bonzel Brook to drive a second wheel at the north end of the mill. So water cascaded out of that, out of there, from the aqueduct. It's come across the aqueduct, gone along into here, and then it cascades out over what used to be a water wheel in that location. So I'm wondering how the water powered the machinery. So let me just read this bit to you. Recent excavations by the Arkwright Society have revealed inside the mill the arrangements for the service end of the building, including a heated office, the site of a staircase to the floors above, and on the original ground floor of the mill, oh, this is a bit, the foundations of the transmission system, which converted the power of the water wheel to drive machinery, including the water frames on the upper floors. I'm just looking at this and it says, imagine the handle you are turning is the water wheel. The water wheel made the horizontal shaft go round. Arkwright then needed to transfer the power upwards to his machines. Watch the gears closely. How do they make the vertical shafts move? I'm not very bright at this, you know. Is that right? So this is the works that's going on at the moment here. A water wheel is being reinstalled at Cromford Mills. This project will generate up to 25% of the site's energy from water power. Please be aware that you can book yourself on a tour. Um, whilst I was here this year, um, 2023, it cost £15. This is a nice little spot, nice little place to have a cup of tea. So from the cafe, you can have a nice walk along the canal here. <laughs> if 
from the wharf and the canal you can just walk along the road a little bit and you've got this lovely view of the River Derwent. So from the Cromford Mills car park which is just through the trees over here you can walk just across to see Cromford Church which is by the River Derwent. Lovely spot for a picnic. It can be quite difficult doing these vlogs um, at times because it's August and there's lots of children about and there's been dogs barking and tractors going. So I do hope I've just given you a flavour of Crom Cromford Mills. And along the Derwent Valley there's lots of things to do as I explained. So um, yes, worth a visit definitely. Thanks for watching Trees as World. If you've enjoyed this vlog then do hit subscribe. Thank you and um, I'll see you again on my next video.